Namaskar and Indian greeting for hello and swagatam. Welcome to your mats. My name is Kajal Bora and today I invite you to join me for a power sequence. The sequence is designed to generate heat, generate energy in your body and to challenge your body and your mind. So let's begin. Starting from the top of the mat, standing, grounding down through your feet, spine straight, arms by your side, palms facing front, invitation to close your eyes or soft gaze to the earth. Just take a few rounds of breaths here, a few moments, let's take a moment noticing how you feel. Invitation to join me for three rounds of cleansing breaths. Take a deep breath, inhale, fill up your belly. And then open mouth, exhale, release. Let's do this two more times. Deep breath, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. And just once more. Deepest breath you've taken all day. Inhale, fill up. And then open mouth, side it out. Seal your lips. Stay connected with your breath. And then whenever you're ready, very slowly flicker your eyes open. Inhale, sweep your arms up and over. Send your fingers deep into the sky. Perhaps a smile on your face. Exhale, interlace your hands, palms facing sky. Again, create length. Exhale, arch to the right and push your hips to the left to enjoy a side stretch on the left side of your body. Inhale, rise. Exhale, side stretch to the other side. Inhale, rise. This time, cactus your arms and sit in an imaginary chair. Now, draw your shoulder blades towards each other. Draw your heart, draw your gaze towards the sky and then exhale, elbows towards each other, chin towards the chest. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, open up your heart. Exhale, hollow your belly. One last time. Inhale, exhale. With your next inhale, arms to the horizon relaxed shoulders and exhale twist to the right draw your right arm behind you inhale arms back to the front exhale twist to the other side one more round each side inhale exhale inhale back to center exhale twist to the left now inhale rise up exhale arms behind you interlace your hands slight bend in your knees again draw your heart to the sky exhale forward fold. now you're welcome to bend one knee and then the other just warming up preparing for the practice shoulders relaxed let your head hang heavy one last round of breath And now slowly release your hands towards the earth. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Hands to the top of the mat, step back into your high plank. Active core. We are warming up our core here. Now push your hands into the mat, lift your torso away. Make sure you have your belly button towards the spine. Send your heels towards the back of the wall. Just one more round of breath here. Perhaps find a smile in this challenging position. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale very slowly. Come on all the way down to the mat. Now release the tops of your feet. Push the tops of your feet into the mat. And slowly lift your shoulders. First few rib cages. Perhaps lifting your palms for baby cobra bhujangasana. Exhale release. Let's do this one more time. Inhale lift. Exhale release. 
this time draw your hands closer towards your waist and push your hands and the tops of your feet to the mat to lift up this is your high cobra shoulders over your wrists you're welcome to stay right here or perhaps challenge yourself lift your hips lift your thighs and draw your heart towards the sky this is your upward facing dog urdhva mukha svanasana inhale exhale send your hips to the sky to find your first downward facing dog Welcome to bend one knee and then the other. Warming up your dog. Find any additional organic movements your body desires. And breathe. Whenever you're ready, find stillness. Finding your alignment in your down dog, spreading your fingers wide, hands shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. We'll be here for just one more round of breath. beautiful pose it helps you strengthen and lengthen your body one more round of breath with your next inhale lift your right leg to the sky bend your right knee stack up your hips open up your right side you're also welcome to take find movements with your right hip going in one direction and then reverse the direction and then whenever you're ready inhale lift your right leg to the sky exhale step it through between your hands now grounding down your left hand into the mat draw your right arm towards the sky to find a twist now send your right fingers deep into the sky and then exhale find movement with your right arm circling your right arm your gaze follows down two more times inhale exhale one more time inhale exhale with your next inhale right hand back to the mat step back high plank active core again push your hands into the mat lift your torso away take a deep breath inhale this time exhale slowly low half way elbows towards each other towards your torso and then slowly low half way chaturanga dandasana inhale high cobra or upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog one round of breath here and then whenever you're ready inhale lift your left leg to the sky exhale bend your left knee stack up your hips again opening up your left side welcome to take movements on this side with your left hip going in one direction and then reverse the direction and then inhale three leg dog exhale step it through between your hands now this time grounding down through your right hand send your left arm towards the sky again sending your left fingers deep into the sky stacking up your shoulders take a deep breath inhale exhale circle your left arm drawing your arms in a circle gaze follows the arm inhale exhale just one more time inhale exhale left arm to back to the mat send your left leg back finding that high plank again one round of breath here active core push your hands into the mat inhale exhale slowly low half way chaturanga dandasana inhale high cobra or upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog with your next inhale lift your right leg to the sky three legged dog and then shift forward draw your right knee to your right elbow challenging your core take a deep breath inhale three legged dog exhale twist right knee to left elbow inhale three legged dog exhale step it through between your hands now keep your back heel lifted and draw your arms towards the sky now cactus your arms shoulder blades towards each other draw your heart draw your gaze to the sky exhale elbows towards each other chin towards the chest let's do this two more times inhale exhale one more time inhale exhale with your next inhale unwind and then exhale to heal your feet to find your warrior to virabhadrasana dwi arms in a straight line adjust your stance such that your front heel is in line with your back arch or your back heel relax shoulders challenge yourself go deep into that lunge take a deep breath inhale exhale find that additional depth 
This time inhale, create length. Exhale, reach forward and draw your forearm onto your thigh, left arm towards the sky. Now finding movements with that shoulder, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, circle your arms. Draw your gaze following the arm. One more time, inhale, exhale. With your next inhale, rise up, straighten your front leg, backhand to your back knee or wrap it around your waist, right arm up and over. Gaze can be to the back foot or to the sky. Now we'll pulse, inhale, back into that warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, back into that extended side angle. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, exhale. Welcome to stay right here or challenge your core. Send your right fingers away from you. Find that additional depth. One round of breath here. And then back into that warrior to relax shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, circle your arms. Frame your front foot. Step back, high plank. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower half. Vechaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, high cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. With your next inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to your left elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, step it through between your hands. Back heel stays lifted and draw your arms towards the sky. Relax your shoulders and cactus your arms. Now, inhale, draw your heart to the sky. Exhale, elbows towards each other, chin towards the chest. Two more times. Inhale, open up, shoulder blades towards each other. Exhale, all of your belly. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, exhale. With your next inhale, unwind and then exhale, extend your arms, adjust your stance to again find that heel to arch or heel to align, heel alignment. Arms in a straight line to find your warrior to Veer Bhadrasana Dvi. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, find that additional depth. With your next inhale, create length. Exhale, reach forward, forearm onto your thigh. Right arm up and over. Now take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Circle your arm. Gaze follows the arm. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. With your next inhale, rise up. Backhand to your back leg or wrap it around your waist. Reverse triangle. Inhale back into your extended side angle. Exhale, reverse your triangle. One more time. Inhale, exhale. With your next inhale back into your warrior two. Exhale, circle your arms, frame your front foot. Step back, high plank. Pausing here, one round of breath. Again, challenging your core. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower, halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, high cobra or upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take two rounds of cleansing breaths. We will take the sequence, one breath, one movement. Before we proceed, take a deep breath, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Once more, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. One breath, one movement. With your next inhale, lift your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog, and then draw your right knee to your right elbow. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, twist, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through between your hands. Inhale, rise up, cactus your arms, draw your heart towards the sky. Exhale, elbows towards each other, just once. 
Inhale, rise. Exhale, extend your arms, adjust your stance, find your warrior two. Inhale, create length. Exhale, reach forward, extended side angle. Inhale, circle your arms. Just once, rise up. Exhale, inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, back into extended side angle. Now again, stay right here or challenge that core. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, back into your warrior two. Inhale, exhale, circle your arms. Frame your front foot, step back, high plank. Inhale, hover. Exhale, slowly low, half free. Inhale, high cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing We'll take the sequence one more time, left side. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through between your arms. Now, inhale, rise up, cactus your arms. Draw your heart, your gaze to the sky. Exhale, elbows towards each other. Just once. Inhale, rise. Exhale, extend your arms. Adjust your stance to find your warrior two. Inhale, create length. Exhale, reach forward, extended side angle. Take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale, circle your arm. Inhale, rise up, reverse your triangle. Exhale, find your extended side angle. Again, stay right here or challenge your core. Draw your fingers away from you. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale back into that warrior two. Square your front foot. Draw your back foot back. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale slowly lower halfway. Inhale high cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale down facing dog. Journey for two rounds of cleansing breaths. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. Once more. Deep breath. Inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. With your next inhale, very slowly release your knees to the mat. Draw your hands back towards you. Rise up. Take a breath. We'll be transitioning into cap, camel pose, Ushtrasana. So, welcome to draw your hands to your hips. Now, shift your hips forward and draw your gaze towards the sky if it's comfortable for your neck. Welcome to stay right here or go into a full expression by drawing your hands to your heels, shifting your hips forward and drawing your gaze towards the back. Actively drawing your heart towards the sky. Just one more round of breath. In. Exhale. With your next inhale, hands back onto your waist. Very, very slowly rise up. Draw your knees to touch. Sit bones to your heels. Arms by your side. And send the crown of your head to the earth to find your Embryo pose, Pindasana. Just finding few rounds of breaths here. Resetting your spine, your body. One more round of breath. And then slowly rise up. Shift your hips to one side. Draw your feet in front of you. We're going to transition into boat pose Navasana. Quick core challenge. Hands behind your thighs, proud chest, and very slowly lift your heels off the mat. Now you're welcome to stay right here, keeping your hands behind your thighs, or challenge yourself by drawing one hand by your side or both the hands by your side. Again, proud chest big smile on your face making this easy for yourself now keep stay right here or extend your legs even further active core 
almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just one more countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. Draw your knees close towards you. Hug yourself. One round of breath. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. very slowly bend your knees drawing your feet to touch heels as close as you can towards you you're welcome to use your hands to open up your feet as if you're opening up a book this is your butterfly pose put the kanasana relax shoulders you're welcome to stay right here or perhaps use your elbows to push into your thighs Hinge at your hips and relax your shoulders. Let your head hang heavy. Finding a few rounds of breaths here. And then very slowly rise up. Draw your feet in front of you. Flex your toes towards your face. You can bend your knees if you need to. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Hinge at your hips. You're welcome to hold on to your shins, your ankles, or the outside edges of your feet. Seated forward fold. We'll be here for just two rounds of breaths. your knees and we're going to transition into full pigeon or oh sorry double pigeon where you're going to bring your right shin over your left knee and your left shin under your right knee you're welcome to stay right here or hinge at your hips and crawl your hands towards the front forearms onto the back and just relax your shoulders again we'll be here for just three rounds of breaths Sit leg on the top, double pigeon or Agni Stambhasana. Shin under your knee, shin over your knee. Again, relax shoulders, stay right here or crawl your hands away from you. And find that additional depth. Draw your attention to the sensations in your hips. If this is too much, you can always back off. One more round of breath here. The next inhale slowly rise up. And we will end by lying down. So bend your knees, shift to the front of the mat if you need to. And very slowly, drawing your arms to the horizon, we'll go down to the mat slow, slow, slow. So at the count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze. Perhaps sway from side to side. Give a nice gentle massage. And then we're going to transition into a twist. So placing your left foot to the mat. Right knee over your left arms by your side take a deep breath inhale exhale twist to the left and you can use your left hand to push your right thigh towards the earth to go deeper into that twist we'll be here for just two rounds of breaths Chest reset. Sweet. 
say from side to side and then find that supine twist on the other side so right foot back left knee over arms in a T and slowly draw your knees to the right shimmy your hips slightly to the left we can again use your right hand this time to push your left thigh in Supta Matsya Indra Asana one more round of breath here Inhale, draw your knees back to the center. Unwind your knees. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself one last tight squeeze. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And then open mouth. Exhale, release. Find your final resting pose called Dosamasana. You can take any resting expression your body desires. And just pause here. draw your knees towards you and switch to your favorite side coming into a fetal position pausing here for just a moment let the energies inside the body balance out just take a moment whenever you're ready push your head into the mat and very slowly rise up coming into a comfortable seated pose perhaps hands at your heart center and chin towards the chest, bowing down to the teacher and the student within you. I hope you enjoyed this practice and I hope to see you soon. See you next time.